Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. By the end of this video, I will save you a lot of money that you probably spend on silk screens and transfer papers and will introduce to you a world of possibilities that will cost you under a dollar. I'm talking about paper napkins. You can find them in variety of patterns and colors and you can easily transfer the pattern onto your polymer clay. So let's get started. First of all, flatten a piece of clay you want to do the transfer on. I used a piece of white Fimo clay. Then I grab my paper napkin. As you can see, I bought it for uh, 1 euro and 25 cents uh, from the store. I take one out and you can see the beautiful uh, floral pattern here. I've worked the edge a little bit uh, so that I can find the outer layer and take it off. We want to ideally take all the extra layers out and work with the layer that has the ink and all the patterns. So I checked uh, if uh, there is any other layers left, but I couldn't find any at this point. So I put the napkin on the clay and uh, because it is transparent, it is easy to see the clay through the pattern and put it where you want. Then I use my rolling pin to roll the napkin into my clay. To my surprise, when I try to roll it, it doesn't sit right and I see tiny wrinkles. So I use my X-Acto knife and discover another extra layer in my napkin. I didn't cut this part so you guys can see the process. So I take the extra napkin off again and I'll continue using my rolling pin to make sure the napkin sticks properly to my clay. Uh, then I use my nail polish remover. Mine is a German brand, but any nail polish remover will do the trick. I use a cotton pad and soak it a little bit, and then I uh, swipe the pad on the napkin. You can also dab it if your napkin is too thin. Also pay attention to the edges. I try to pull the napkin as I swipe so that I can cut the extra napkin out.
Then I take my ceramic tile to put the clay on. I could do it uh, from the beginning, but I just forgot. Then I take my cutter and I cut the shapes I want. Make sure to put some extra pressure because uh, you have the napkin as well to cut. When you are taking the extra clay off, be careful not to pull the tissue and if you did, just put it back to the place and uh, use a soaked cotton pad uh, to stick it to the clay. If you like me use a round cutter for the holes, you can do it uh, as well at this point. So for the proof of concept, I went to another store and picked up another paper napkin. This one uh, cost 80 cents and I wanted to at least try two different napkin brands before encouraging you guys. So I do the exact same steps uh, for this one as well, uh, but just fast forward the process so you can see what I did. I thought uh, I also show you guys the scrap clay situation here. Uh, so if you want to save the scraps from this technique, uh, you absolutely can. When you remove the tissue from the clay, uh, you can see that uh, the pattern has already been transferred to the clay at some point. Uh, and uh, that is the result of nail polish remover swipe. I just took the big chunks and just knit the rest together and I actually achieved a very cool effect which I unfortunately didn't feel. But you can use the scraps of this technique even if it has some napkin in it on it 
uh, and um, in your other projects. So I baked my earrings for one hour at the temperature that was written on my Fimo clay packaging. I let them completely cool down and here we are. So now I have a bowl of water and I want to take the extra layer of napkin off my pizzas. So I take each piece, soak it in the water and start rubbing my thumb uh, on the pattern. As you can see, the tissue will uh, come right off and the ink stays in the place. I continue doing that uh, for all my pieces. So here are my pieces after sanding. Uh, the print is permanent and it doesn't go anywhere, uh, but it feels like a piece of fabric on the clay. It doesn't look that way, uh, but it feels that way uh, to the touch. So I wanted to try some sealers and see the difference. I want to try Fimo glass varnish and semi glass varnish on these pieces. For the pink ones, I go with a glass varnish and try to cover the pattern. It has a settled shine after it dries, but it is not as shiny as resin. For the other piece, I wanted to keep the watercolor look, so I used the semi glass varnish, which has a matte finish after it dries. Now my pieces are dry and you can see the difference between varnished and unvarnished pieces. The difference is settled, uh, but it is definitely different to the touch. But you can absolutely leave them unvarnished too, it's just a matter of preference. So I will finish my pieces off the camera and I'll show you the final results. So here are the final results. I love the effect and from now on you can find me in the napkin sections of dollar stores searching for exciting patterns to buy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the future videos. Thank you for watching and have a fabulous rest of the day.